this recipe rocks. This is a Spanish omelet. I just cubed a yellow potato on medium high with extra virgin olive oil at the bottom. This recipe is super easy. I did put a quarter teaspoon of chili flakes, crushed chili flakes, and I like to spice it up a little bit. So I'm going to add another quarter teaspoon. It, it just makes this omelet so tasty. So, so far in a medium and a full size frying pan, non-stick of course, one yellow potato, medium size, and we have a red onion. So the smell right now with the crushed chili peppers is amazing. Now I'm going to throw in the red onion. You can use any cooking onion, any type of onion, Spanish, sweet. I like red because it looks cool. So half finely chopped just like the potatoes or potato with no E at the end unless you add the S. Now I'm giving spelling lessons. So red onion, half of a red onion, one medium sized potato. I, I love the taste of yellow. You can utilize any kind of potato in your pantry. So, so far we're just using items in the pantry. Crushed chili. Yellow potato. A half of a red onion. If you want it to cook a little bit faster, you can go a little bit higher than medium high, which I'm going to do. But I'm right next to the stove. This Spanish omelet does utilize, depending on your frying pan and the size of your eggs, four or five eggs. And some people like to do this in the oven. I like to do it in a frying pan. So I'm just using regular large size eggs, any egg you can find. Right now the house smells amazing. I like that sizzle. We have the first, first egg. Two, I know I can count, three, and four. <laughs> when I'm rushing, it doesn't fail, no broken yolks. Oh boy, because they're cubed really small, you want the potato and onion to be almost half cooked before you add the egg. We do have to cook the egg through and because and the good thing is is these potatoes or potato is a newer variety just came out actually from my garden. <laughs> So, they actually take a little bit longer to cook than, say, a store-bought potato. Again, you have to gauge it. What I like to add to my, while I'm waiting, you can do it afterwards, just a pinch of salt. The star of the show, which I think is the star of the show, is a pinch of cayenne. If you look at my other videos, I love cayenne. So I just put salt and red 
Cayenne. Oh, this is almost ready. We better get those eggs scrambled. Okay. Oh, the smell. <laughs> the red onions are slowly dissipating, which means that that beautiful yellow, I mean red color, not yellow, is going away. Again, three large eggs. That's perfect. A lot of people are wondering why I always brag about nonstick pans. Well, when you're dealing with eggs, I honestly think the nonstick plan was invented for eggs. If you have a cast iron, you know the drill. You know how challenging it is when you're frying any type of egg. So, I want to get the potatoes off <laughs> the wooden spoon. And there we go. I'm going to let it cook for a couple more minutes. You, you don't want raw potatoes. And as I said, coming from my garden, it's a very new potato. Um, I do want to cook it just halfway through. Add the eggs and then go from there. This is, I say, a comfort food. Actually, it's also really uh, filling. I like to make this omelet, share it, cut it up in a pie in five pieces or possibly six, depending on how many servings you want. Or you can throw it in a cool bun, bread. This recipe is good to eat cold also. And it's nutritious. And you're using olive oil. A lot of people are saying, why are you using olive oil to fry? If you go to the Mediterranean area of the world, olives is abundant. They use olive oil for everything. It makes sense. I'm not cooking on super high. Oh, the potatoes are ready now. Depending when you're doing this, you have to see the... It's become, with yellow potatoes, it becomes a little bit golden. So, I'll put this right here. Oh, there goes my stove. I have to clean it afterwards. And then add, it doesn't matter how you pour it because we're going to move the egg around. It looks pretty cool already. And there we go. So this is very optional, black pepper. It just gives that extra bite. We already have the salt in it. If, um, and this doesn't call, this is optional. If you have chives, fresh chives, or even dry, you can throw it in now. And this again is optional. If you don't have chives, don't worry about it. It'll still taste delicious. I just like the color of green. And I still see some red um, with the onion. And you're wondering why I'm not playing with the omelet. It's, it's thick because of the potatoes at the bottom. You really need to cook it on one side and then we'll flip it. If you don't have chives and you do want to add some green, you could always go in your pantry and utilize 
dry parsley. Uh, it is pretty strong dry parsley, so you have to be very careful on how much you put in. Oh, I got a little parsley that I don't want in there. We can still not needing to play around with the egg, but if you want to, if you really do, this is something super easy. Then you can go like this. I know it's cooking underneath the base. And all I'm doing is making a little bit of pockets of egg that's not cooked to go to the bottom. Some people go like this and move the egg to the outside. Whatever you're comfortable with. We're not going to burn it. It is cooking more on this side. That's where my hot spot is on my stove. So I'll just move it around. It's almost ready still to flip, but again, look at that. Oh. Protein pack meal, just utilizing pantry stuff. Who doesn't have potatoes or eggs in their pantry? And dry herbs. All right. I'm gonna let it set for a second. I'm gonna get a trusted plate and we're gonna flip this baby. I know that some people like to put it over and flip it. That is cool. For people that aren't 100% sure, another way of doing it is sliding it on the plate and then flipping the plate into the frying pan. It's almost set. And then we only need a couple more minutes on the other side. The potatoes will get golden on this side too. You can see some of the potatoes already poking out of the egg. Whoa, we could even use a lid if you want to cook the top faster. Okay, so I might slide it like that. And let's see if I can flip it without breaking it. This is the f a hard part. One, two, and three. I didn't break it, almost, but I got one piece right there that's churned over. I won't play with it too much. I don't want to break it more. I'll let it set that way. And as you can see, oh, the heat. And you can see that it's nice and golden all the way around. Beautiful. Beautiful. I love it. And what I was talking about, a lid. Oh, I got a lid right here. Huh. Let's see if it fits though. Ah, uh, it's too small. Yeah, that doesn't fit. If you have a steel lid, you can use a steel lid. Glass lid, you can see. Aha, ha, found one. So that traps the heat. And this way you can't really see the omelet cooking well. having fun. So this will also cook uh, the top because of the steam not escaping. Again it depends on how long you want to cook the underneath. I don't want to break the omelet but I'll see if I can peek so you can see 
Oh yeah, it'll break. And this is where some people also would throw in the oven um, so they didn't have to do the flip. But then it's hard to get gold in perfectly on both sides. I'm going to let this go for one more minute. I might get a white plate. I love serving on a white plate. And then I might grab a fork and I'm going to try this bad boy or girl or people. Oh, look at this. It looks so good. It looks amazing. Oh, the smell. I wish you were here. And it's not sticking. So, there we go. Oh, I'm, my the heat from the element is burning my underneath of my hands, but as I don't want to flip it, but let's flip it so you can see both sides. It's totally cooked on the other side too. You want that nice golden? I might break a little piece. blow on it oh my gosh it tastes so fresh because of the potato it's something that's totally different than what you would expect you need to try this hit that subscribe button let me know in the comment section what do you think of this recipe and go ahead try it it's delicious, it's healthy, and you can put it in the fridge and eat the next day cold. Or if you love ketchup, you can add ketchup because of the potatoes. And I know some people prefer ketchup on eggs too. Beyond Cool, signing out. See you soon.